Welcome to 3MM. Let's learn about bit fields concept in C. In prayer to this, we must know the structures and union concept in C. Kindly follow my previous videos on them. Let's start. Concept is very simple. Consider int A is equal to 5. We know int occupies 2 bytes, that is 16 bits. We have 16 bits of memory allocated here. Now, we know 5 is written as 101, that is the binary number which occupies 3 bits. Now, saving it into integer A. Among 16 bits, it just requires 3 bits. Now, what about the remaining 13 bits? They get wasted, right? So, to avoid this, we use concept called bit fields. To achieve bit fields, we need to follow two conditions. First one, it must be either structure or union member. Second, it must be an unsigned integer. The syntax be like struct union keyword, then its name, then unsigned int variable, then column symbol, followed with width, that is number of bits. Next variable, if required, and so on. Now, bit field declaration be like keyword struct union, then its name unsigned int n with width of 5 bits now 5 bits of memory is allocated here for n next unsigned int m with width 3 bit positions and close the braces next bit field example to display the time let's start main struct time now unsigned int hours colon 5 here hour occupies 5 bits as we know maximum hour value is 24 it can be represented in 5 bit positions that is 0 to 24 any number can be represented using 5 bit positions so 5 will be the size next unsigned integer minutes colon 6 that is 0 to 59 value can be represented using 6 bits next unsigned int seconds 60 the same 0 to 59 value can be represented using 6 bits then next ISN values normally that is struct time t equal to 10 30 45 then it displays the time as shown in the printf like a t dot hours t dot minutes t dot seconds and the output is displayed as displayed as 10 hours 30 minutes 45 seconds thanks for watching our video for more videos do subscribe to our channel 3mm 3mm master if you like hit the like button and bell icon there and do share with your friends don't forget to drop a comment.